Hello all. Whenever you are studying under in a textbook under SN one and under SN two, you don't get any confusion because there it is clearly giving whether it is SN one or SN two. But whenever you are solving the questions. or when you solve a question in your examination they don't tell you that is sn1 or sn2 they ask you to find whether that reaction is sn1 or sn2 that time you will be having a lot of confusions my dear students whether it is sn1 or sn2 so in the session i am going to teach you some simple uh, tricks so that you can solve any kind of questions so easily without any confusions you are going to do now let us see those simple uh, tricks you can just within a 10 to 15 minutes you are going to learn it thank you so much for clicking on this video don't miss this session now i'm going to teach you a tricks to find whether the particular reaction is taking place through sn1 or the particular reaction is taking place through sn2 or there is no reaction this i am going to teach you okay whether it is sn1 or sn2 or no reaction okay now see the trick number 1 here there is no mechanism is needed without any mechanism i am going to teach you sn1 reactivity order is tertiary greater than secondary greater than primary if an any alkyl halide is there or uh, uh, any alcohol is there it should be a tertiary then it involves in sn1 if any primary alkyl halide is there it don't involve in sn1 no sn1 coming to the sn2 what is that order primary greater than secondary greater than tertiary if it is a primary alkyl halide it undergoes sn1 sn2 and there is no sn3 reaction i mean there is no sn2 reaction when when it is a, a tertiary here tertiary no sn2 reaction this is the trick number 1 this order you have to remember 321 here and this is 123 trick number 2 i'm going to teach you is trick number 2 is what kind of nucleophile it is whether it is a strong nucleophile or whether it is a weak nucleophile weak nucleophile favors sn1 and strong nucleophile favors sn2 again i am repeating weak nucleophile weak nucleophile favors sn1 reaction and strong nucleophile favors sn2 reaction strong nucleophile favors sn2 reaction ma'am how can i know which is a weak nucleophile and which is a strong nucleophile i'm going to give you simple example so that you will come to know alcohol is a weak nucleophile and water is a weak nucleophile these two if it is there on a arrow and a tertiary is there then it is obviously sn1 okay if secondary alkyl halide is there and these alcohol alcohol and water is present that involves in sn1 reaction and coming to the sn2 i told you strong nucleophiles involves in sn2 so that what are those strong nucleophiles alkoxidion like methoxide ethoxide propoxide those are alkoxid ions okay methoxid means in a place of r just to put a ch3 o minus that is a methoxide ethoxide means put ch3 ch2 o minus here then it is ethoxide iodide ion is a strong nucleophile and oh minus ion is a strong nucleophile these if it is there on arrow what do you need to do you have to mark it as sn2 reaction clear and coming to the trick number 3 is when you are doing a reaction with respect to the ether what is the general formula of ether 
R O R. This is a general formula of either. In this, what you have to do is see here two alkyl groups are present. This is one alkyl group and this is another alkyl group. When you see these two alkyl groups immediately students, what you have to do is just identify that any tertiary is there. What do you mean by tertiary carbon? Carbon which is surrounded by three other carbons is a tertiary carbon. Whenever tertiary carbon is there, any one, either this alkyl or this alkyl, then it involves in SN1 reaction. What is that reaction? SN1. But if there is no tertiary in any one of the alkyl group, then it involves, involves, tell me, SN2 when there is no tertiary. Clear? And coming to the trick number four. What is the trick for is what kind of, you know, halides won't involve in this reactions. Okay, which kind of either SN1, there is no SN1, there is no SN2 reaction, some they don't involve in a both, then how can you identify? After that point, you are going to solve all these different types of models on your own. Okay, what is that? That is trick number four is, trick number four is, you have to check whether any bridged halogen is present or not. If any bridged halides, there is no SN1 or no SN2, there there is no reaction and when there is an halides which halides aryl halides aryl halide in the sense halogen connected to the benzene ring is called as an aryl halide there is no sn1 or sn2 there is no substitution reactions and coming to the vinyl halides there is no substitution reactions okay in these three you can't see whether it is SN1 or SN2, there will be no reaction. Okay, by using just these four points, you are going to solve a number of questions. Let's start the session. See the first question here. What you need to do first, you have to see the nucleophile here, and you can see this what kind of alkyl halide it is. This carbon is surrounded by three other carbons. One, two, three. So it is a tertiary. Tertiary means what I told you, my dear students. Tertiary means what I told you. Tertiary means it is SN1. So reaction is SN1. See the next one. It is in secondary. I told you if it is a tertiary SN1, if it is a primary SN2, coming to the secondary, how can you identify whether it is SN1 or SN2? That case is what you have to see, just to see the nucleophile, which is present on the arrow. This is the one OH minus is a strong nucleophile. Strong nucleophile favors SN2. And see here, I minus. I minus is a strong nucleophile. So I minus is a strong nucleophile. Strong nucleophile favors what? This is a secondary alkyl halide. And this is a strong nucleophile which favors SN2. Right answer. Do all the questions along with me. And after the class, again, click on a pass and one by one question you copy and later you do and check your answers. O minus, this is anyhow primary. And O minus is a strong nucleophile. So it favors SN2. Very good. And coming to the general formula, R, O, R. These are ethers. In case of ethers, what I told you, just see that any side tertiary is there or not. Here a benzene ring is present. Here a primary carbon is present. There is no tertiary. If there is no tertiary, there is no SN1. Here a primary is there, so it is SN2. And coming here, pH, O and see the plus sign here. What do you mean by this plus sign? Here, this carbon is surrounded by one, two, three, three other carbons. I'll, I, I will write again. See here, one, two, three, three carbons are present. See my dear students, this is the center carbon, which is surrounded by one, two, 
three, three other carbon. So it is a tertiary. Whenever tertiary is present, then what is the type of substitution? Unimolecular nucleophilic substitution. That is SN1 reaction takes place. Clear? Got the clarity? Let's see the next question. See here, one side, you know, this aryl uh, bridge halogen is present and another side, you are having a cyclohexane ring. Then what happens here? This is a carbon here, which is present, you know, one, two, two, this carbon is surrounded by two other carbons and that too. So it is a secondary and this water is a weak nucleophile. So whenever weak nucleophile is present and water is a weak nucleophile and it is a secondary, so it involves SN1 reaction. And coming here, the next part, see a benzene ring this side and this is a primary alkyl halide. Whenever primary alkyl halide is present, then what mark you should do? SN2 reaction. And see the next one, this side primary and this side, you know, cyclohexane ring. See here primary and this side carbon, which is surrounded by two other carbons. So it is a secondary. Then it involves a SN2 reaction. That's it here. SN2, how, how I'm telling you that tertiary means SN1. Primary means SN2. Directly you can say for a secondary, you have to see what kind of nucleophile here. Here I minus is a strong nucleophile and this side is a primary is there. So it is SN2. And here alcohol, this OH is connected to the carbon, which is connected to three other carbons. So it is a tertiary. Tertiary means it undergoes SN1 reaction. See in this case, this is a carbon which is surrounded by two other carbons here and but if it is a secondary either it can be SN1 or it can be SN2 then how can you say that whether it is an SN1 or SN2 by seeing this nucleophile it is a weak nucleophile so it involves in SN1 reaction okay now see the case here both the sides a benzene ring is present so I told you when only benzene is present here it cannot involve in SN1 or SN2 reaction there is no nucleophilic substitution reactions okay and uh, uh, coming to this here bridge halide is there there is no reaction and see the next one you are having here you are having here see the next one you are having here nucleophile is a strong nucleophile and coming here this carbon is surrounded by one, two, two other carbons. So two other carbons means secondary. Secondary means how can you confirm it may be SN1, it may be SN2. But here strong nucleophile is there which favors SN2 reaction. Got the clarity? Very easy, right? You can do very easily. See the carbon here, which is surrounded by one, two, three, three other carbons. So tertiary SN1. And see a case where here alcohol Oxid ion is present. As I told you, this is R. This is R. This is O. This is minus. R O minus. Whenever alkoxide ion is present, it is a strong nucleophile SN2. And see here, alcohol is a weak nucleophile SN1. That's it. Alcohol SN1, alkoxide SN2. And coming here. And this is what a case where moist is present. Moist is present means that is a reaction which is SN2. Uh, I'm sorry, moist is there means it is a water which indicates water is present. Whenever water is present, that is SN1. That's that's very easy students see here here chlorine halogen attached to the carbon that is surrounded by two other carbons this is one carbon this is another carbon 
carbon and here oh minus is a nucleophile this is a secondary so it can be sn1 or it can be sn2 but strong nucleophile favors sn2 by this time itself you should be able to answer along with me if you are getting an answer then please hit on a like so that it makes me to do more videos like this and see here iodine is present which is connected to the carbon which is surrounded by two other carbons and here it is a secondary like same like this but water is a weak nucleophile water alcohol weak nucleophiles i minus hydroxide ion and uh, alkoxide ions are strong nucleophiles strong nucleophile favors sn2 weak nucleophile favors sn1 that's easy here sn1 and see the next two example last two examples alcohol what it do alcohol sn1 alkoxide ion sn2 that's it alcohol sn1 alkoxide ion sn2 see how easily you solved all these questions now after this video take a paper and pen just note it down all the main points what i discussed with you and whatever a material you are having you just try to solve any kind of question you will be able to solve very easily my name is komali i'm your chemistry mentor i thank you so much for watching this video if you want more kind of videos like this uh please hit on a like then it makes me to make me so happy uh, so that i can put more time and i can make more videos